What if I told you that this ugly looking plant became absolutely stunning and makes for one of the most beautiful cut flowers and arrangement flowers you're ever gonna have, okay? This is Lunaria, also called money plant, and it is a biennial cut flower that I highly recommend anyone interested in having a cut flower garden grows, especially if you're interested in dried florals, okay? So Lunaria comes up in the spring, you fall plant it out, it has these seeds that look like little tiny, I don't know, like ovally type things. They are really unique. Let me see, I can get you some more seeds. <clears throat> I've got them everywhere. <laughs> Let's say, hang on, I'm getting seeds. All right, so these. These are Lunaria seeds. As you can see, they're really unique. Um, and they look very similar, actually, to the leaf structure. So, little baby leaves, basically. And you can take these guys and plant them out in the fall super easily. Like, literally, I just like, ah! And that's how I see Lunaria. And it comes back beautifully, like insanely gorgeous. And it will come back with lush, beautiful greenery. And that greenery will turn into purple flowers. And these purple flowers are really beautiful as well. But what makes Lunaria so insane is these seed pods. So all of these are seed pods that the Lunaria plant puts off. They put off so many, like, these aren't leaves. These are the seed pods of the plant. And what's really cool is you can actually take these seed pods. And the reason it's called the money plant is you can actually rub these seed pods. And you end up with these silvery paper dollar leaves. Or seed pod membranes, maybe? Now, these seed pods, when you remove all of the paper from all of them, you're left with these gorgeous statement pieces that are amazing to tuck into arrangements and they're so insanely beautiful. And what's really awesome is that as you are shelling these seed pods, you are actually revealing the seeds for next year's harvest, which is why I have seeds everywhere. So while you are making these really pretty and you're going to add these to your arrangements, your bouquets, and they do dry outside all on their own, no problem, so you don't have to hang them to dry or anything like that. You're also harvesting the seed stock that you can use next year and the year after and in coming years. And it's so, so easy. And also, if you just leave a little bit of these just in the ground area, they will drop these seed pods. And those seed pods will produce plants in that area for generations. And they'll act like a perennial, even though they're a biennial plant, which means they take two seasons to produce blooms. So first year they start growth, and then the next year they broop, broop, they start blooming. Um, I've actually found that really they act more like an annual. You just gotta plant them in the cooler months. But beautiful, beautiful plant. I love them. And I do highly recommend, if you're looking for a wonderful dried floral to add to your garden, these are super easy and low maintenance. Now what I will say about these Lunaria plants is obviously the shelling part is quite labor intensive but you are left with a beautiful, stunning, let me look at this. This is literally insane. It's so gorgeous, but it's a lot of work to do this. So if you're a flower farmer or you're a full-time grower, this might not be the most practical because like you could easily just go grab a bunch of zinnias, harvest them real quick, and then bum, 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 you're good to go. And then you sell them. Whereas this, you have a very long growing cycle so it does take a lot of time. It's very hands-off, so you don't have to worry about it, but you have to like shell each and every single one of these, which is hugely time intensive and hugely a pain in the arse. So gorgeous, highly recommend. I love it in the garden. I definitely would grow this just for funsies, right? So on a really small scale, this is really great. I like to harvest a couple of these branches and I'll just set them around in my house like this. They make really great filler and arrangements and vases and et cetera, and they will stay like this. So it's kind of like an evergreen. So if you got like a little bathroom vase, you can like bloop them in the bathroom vase and be like, here, Pete, look at these. Every time you have company, they're like, wow, look at those. Admiring them from that porcelain throne. These porcelain leaves, beautiful. Anyway, highly recommend, definitely worth growing. Check out Lunaria. If you haven't started growing it yet, you must. Of course, feel free to leave some comments, questions in the comment section. 
and I will help out as much as I can. As always, like, subscribe to the channel, and I would love to share more plants with you and get to talking more with you. Again, I don't know that this is the most profitable, but what's really nice is not everybody's growing these, and they are beautiful and super easy, super resilient, drought tolerant. You don't have to worry about irrigating them. You just boop them out and they will do their business. You harvest them once they go all dry. And then if you want, you could probably just hold on to these until, you know, like the winter months and then de-shell in the winter when you have a lot more downtime. So definitely worth considering growing some Lunaria must grow plants.